Hi, Dr. Barbara Gast here for Heritage Park. And on behalf of the Board of Directors, we have Ernie, we have Kathy, we have Richard, and we have James and myself. So we had a board meeting last night. Uh, today is uh, February 25th, 2021. And I thought I would give you an update of a few critical things uh, we thought that you should know. First, we're having a planning workshop, uh, and that's going to be a Zoom meeting. Uh, we will be starting at 10 o'clock, running a couple of hours on March 4th, which is next Thursday. Uh, you, uh, accompanying this uh, video, you should have co that contact information. You may join us for a moment or stay for the full couple of hours. So uh, this is going to assist us in looking at uh, a schedule of saying what needs to be done when and who's going to do it. Uh, that then gives us a directive to not only our committees, but also to APM, and then we can hold people accountable. Uh, so if you have some definite ideas, you certainly can share with a board member or you can um, uh, pop into our meeting. So we'll be reporting on that. It may take us several workshops to get this hammered out, but this is a good beginning. And we appreciate all the work on the maintenance committee and uh, James Johnson in heading that up. Uh, we also want to just talk about the trash. There's wet trash, dry trash. We had a little bit of a problem with the wet trash where it was going down the chute. There's a chute uh, in both the North Tower and the South Tower. If you're um, on the ground floor, you can walk into that just off the building. Uh, when you walk out, exit the door, you can see that door into the trash room. So that's the area I'm talking about. That's wet trash. And any food particles, anything that would attract a rodent, you certainly wouldn't want to put in that area because we keep it very clean and, uh, and the way it's secured. Now, we also have dry trash, which is outdoors, which is further away from the building, uh, both on the North Tower and the South Tower. That is where dry trash, meaning you're breaking down boxes, uh, anything that's dry and, and doesn't have anything that would attract a rodent. Now, we seem to be okay at the moment with sufficient bin storage. We could always bring a third bin in for each of the towers, but uh, with uh, our increase in visitors and residents during the winter months, uh, sometimes we have to expand it. But right now, it seems to be okay. And we also have a board member in the North Tower and the South Tower who is monitoring uh, how that trash is being picked up and ensuring that uh, we don't have the spillover of the garbage like we did before. So uh, that's going on. Then we want to talk about the elevators. I know today there was a little bit of uh, problems with the elevators and we certainly were responsive to that. Uh, we have a committee headed by Ernie Hull, who's doing a fabulous job of bringing people together that the residents who are affected by the elevator noise there's not a safety issue, it's a noise issue. Uh, and if your unit is adjacent to the elevator, it, it is uh, not uh, a noise you you can even sleep by. It's, anytime the elevator goes, your whole house rattles. So we've been trying to address this through the ad hoc committee. And last night, there was a, a full discussion on how the committee approached it and who they were interviewing as far as vendors. And so that process is taking place. Uh, and that also prepares us for the north elevator. Uh, we've been uh, waiting to see how to resolve the two. And I feel pretty assured that we won't run into the same problem in the north elevator. So bear with us while we're trying to take care of that. Uh, then let me just announce that we, uh, in last night's meeting, we introduced Genevieve Munoz as our new community manager. Uh, Terry Lawless was the person uh, who was managing before. She's very competent. Uh, we enjoyed working with her. Uh, but the reason we're making this change at this point is that we just want to look at a broader picture and saying and planning for uh, where we want to go from here. So we started uh, two years ago going from uh, self-managed to um, where we're managed. 
we want to take this to a higher level and saying there are things that we want done that are not being done now at least not to our satisfaction level, and maybe some things we don't need to do. Uh, overall, though, what our interest is, and that's what this planning workshop on Thursday, is to take a look at uh, the needs of this building. It, as it ages, it uh, needs uh, to be maintained properly, or we'll see it come back to haunt us, so we want to be careful. Genevieve is working with all the board members. She has, she's a seasoned uh, professional, we worked with other 55 plus. She has experience with APM. Uh, and she is also dedicating a large amount of time with uh, our facility to, so that we get our planning done and on a um, course that will serve us well in the future. Uh, so you will still contact uh, Juanita. For if you want to pick up the phone and call, Juanita's still there working with us. Uh, we're still using APM as our provider. We just have a new community manager. So if you see uh, Genevieve, uh, give a shout out. She's very friendly and she should be on site once a week. That's what we're trying to do right now is meet with an individual board member at least once a week, walk the grounds, and take a look at things. So she's a very much a hands-on person. All right, lots of things going on. It's going to be a busy, we're moving into March and we're coming in strong. So uh, appreciate everything, uh, not only what the board, but we have uh, residents who are pitching in. And I think we've come together for a common cause of saying we need to see certain things happen in this building. And that's what we intend to do. Okay, I hope uh, you're doing well. You have good health. Uh, and Good spirits. Okay, take care.